the North Atisto River going after redfish on the fly. Uh, you can catch them in a variety of ways, but there's something about catching them on the fly. I love fishing. I love the sport of fishing. I've, I've gotten lucky. I've been able to make my living doing what I love. And the low country is one of my favorite places to fish. I fished from Canada to Belize and Mexico, but my, my heart is here. That's where I love to fish. Most charter captains that you'll encounter have put their time in. They come out and they scout fish. They have the equipment, uh, they have the knowledge. Local knowledge is, is indispensable. When you're on the platform of a flats boat, uh, your vantage point is such that you can look down and see a lot of fish that the angler on the front of the boat can't see. So you can help direct them where to cast, what direction the fish are coming in. Bird's eye view never hurts. We're actively stalking these redfish. We're coming in nice and quiet, using the pole to push us in where our motor would make too much noise. And the key to catching these fish is not to get in there and disturb them and make them spooky. Fishing with the fly for redfish, and then even really any fish in the low country is the ultimate challenge. The area is beautiful. That's the main thing, just being out in this beautiful environment and fishing for redfish, trout, flounder, is spectacular. It's a, it's a fly fisherman's paradise. Fishing for redfish in South Carolina is something you can do all year long. It, it's nice to be able to go out and have no worries. You, you contact a guide in South Carolina, you go down, you hop on the boat, you fish, hopefully catch a lot of fish, and uh, in most cases, they'll clean them and bag them for you, and you know, all the worries are his, not yours. You know, I'm getting lucky. You know, I retired when I started my career because I fish all the time. So no, I, I really lucked out being able to, to fish for a living, and people tell me from time to time I'm the luckiest guy in the world. And I, and I agree with them sometimes.